In this video, we're going to have a look at different number systems. So we're all familiar with our decimal system, so otherwise known as base 10. And it's called base 10 because each of the positional values, numbers in there, have a base of 10. So we've got different powers. The powers start at 0. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10 to the power 0 is 1. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 squared is 100. 10 cubes, 1,000. 10 to the 4, 10,000. Um, so my powers are going up by 1 each time. My base stays the same, stays at 10. So the number system is decimal or base 10. We've also been having a look at binary, which is otherwise known as base 2. And it's called base 2 because the base of each of those numbers is a 2. So 2 to the 0 is 1. Remember, anything to the power 0 is going to give you the number 1. Uh, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the power 4 is 16. So we're doubling up each time, we've got one extra, uh, multi uh, one extra multiple of 2 as I move to the left hand side. So base 10, number at the base is 10, base 2, number at the base is 2. So if I were to have a look at base 3, what I need to do is my first position is going to have a base of 3 and a power of 0. The next uh, position over is going to have a base of 3 and a power of 1. Then I've got a base of 3 and a power of 2. 3 to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 4. Well, I can work out what each of these represent. 3 to the 0, just like 2 to the 0, 10 to the 0, has got a value of 1. 3 to the 1, that's just going to give me 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed is 27. And 3 to the power of 4, that's 27 times 3. It's also the same as 9 squared. That's equal to 81. So having my base, the um, other thing I need to think about is the digits that I'm allowed to use. So for base 10, I can use 0, 1, 2, all the way up to the number 9. I've got my 10 digits, 1 to 9, plus 0 being my 10th digit. With base 2, all I'm allowed is 0 and 1. With base 3, I'm going to be allowed 3 digits, so I'm going to start with 0, 1 and 2, and I stop at 1 lower than my base. So I've got base 3, the highest number I can use is a 2. Uh, that makes sense because as soon as I get to 3, that's going to be one column over in my positional table. Uh, so base 3 would look like that. Base 5 would be exactly the same. I would have a base of 5 with a power of 0, 5 to the 1, 5 to the 2, 5 to the 3, 5 to the 4. I can work out what those are and I can work out the value of, it, of a digit in each of those positions. So with base 3, I'm going to have 3 digits. Base 5, I would have 5 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I stop one short of the base we've got here. OK, let's have a look at some calculations. Uh, so I'm going to do a calculation in base 3. So I've got my uh, base 3. I've got my powers here. So I've got to the power 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and the equivalent values of each of the digits in those columns. So 1, 3, 9, 27 and 81. And I've got a base 3. So I'm going to write it over here. So I've got a base 3 number of 2, 0, 2. Well, I've got 2 in my 9's column. So that's 2 lots of 9. So that's going to be equal to 18. I've got none in my 3's column. So that's 0. And I've got 2 in my 1's column. 18 plus 2 in decimal, it's got the value of 20. At 2101, again in base 3, uh, what have we got? Well, this time I've got 2 in my 27 column. So 2 lots of 27 is 54. I've got 1 in my 9's column. And I've got 1 in my 1's column. So plus 1, that's going to equal... 64 in decimal. At this time, if I start with a decimal number, so this is base 10, 
and I want to convert 57 into a base 3 number. Well, what do I need to do? Well, first of all, um, the first column over, 81, it's too big. I've only got 57, so I don't need anything in that 81's column. I could write a 0, just to be clear, I don't need anything. Now, 27 I do need. Uh, 27 is less than 57, so I know I'm going to need at least 1. Well, actually, if I look at two lots of 27, I've got 54, which is less than my 57. So if I put 2 in this column, I've got two lots of 27, which is 54. And actually, all I've got left now, if I take 54 away from 57, is 3. So I don't need any 9s, because I've only got 3 left to place. And I've got one lot of 3. So 1 in there, got nothing left to place. And I can put a 0 on the end for my 1s to make sure I've got my place value. So I've got two in my 27s. That's going to give me 54. 1 in my 3. 54 plus 3 is my 57 that I started with. OK, let's have a look at 1 in base 5. Let's turn it over. So remember, my base 5 is going to start 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1, 5 to the 2, 5 to the 3, and if we're really unlucky, 5 to the power of 4. 5 to the 0 is 1. Got one lot of five, five squared is twenty-five, five cubed is a hundred and twenty-five, uh, five to the power of four, it's another multiple of that, so it's going to be six hundred and twenty-five. I really hope we're not going to need those. Uh, what, what I'm going to do, so I've got a base five number. So remember my, my digits are going to be naught, one, two, three, or four. Can't use a five. That will take me over to the next column. So base 5, and I'm going to look at the number 3, 3, 1. So I've got 3 in my 25's column, so that's going to be equal to 75. I've got 3 in my 5's column, so 3 lots of 5's 15. And I've got 1 in my 1's column, so that's a 1. I've got 75 and 15 is 90, plus 1. It's got the value of 91. Uh, let's have a look at uh, a different number. Which one shall we use? Let's have a look at uh, a 175 in... Oh, no, let's make it 185. 185 in base 10. And I want to convert that into a base 5 number, so 185. So I definitely don't need any 625, so I can ignore that. Um, but I'm going to need a 1 in my 125 column. So let's put that in place. So 1 lot of 125, and that's going to leave me 60. So I've still got 60 to write into my columns. Well, I know I'm going to need at least 125, and actually to get up to 60, I can put two of those in. Three would be 75, and that would be too many, so I don't need three. But I do need two, because that's going to take me up to 50. 60 take away 50, I've still got 10 to place. Uh, in my 5's column, well, 1 lot of 5 is 5, 2 lots of 5 is 10, so I can put a 2 in, and I've got nothing left to place. Still need to remember to put that 0 as a place value holder against my 1's, otherwise this would be 1, 2, 2, which would be 1 lot of 20, uh, 25, 2 lots of 5, and 2 lots of 1. I need to remember to put that 0 in the end of my place value. But 1220 in base 5 is the same as 185 in decimal. So what do we need to remember? So if we're working in base 5, that's going to be the number that we're using as the base to the power to calculate the value of the number in that column. If I've got base 5, I'm going to be using 5 numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to stop one number short base that I'm operating in. Okay, your turn to have a little pra a bit of practice, so have a look at the document and give the questions a go.